Hey guys, so there's a concept called pass by value and pass by reference, which means if you pass a variable into a function, if you're passing by reference, then uh, if you change the value inside the function, it, the change gets reflected to the variable outside. And if you pass by value, then uh, it actually makes a copy and pass it into it. So if you change the value inside, it doesn't get reflected outside. So how does that work in JavaScript? So let's look at it. And welcome to Texas Tutorials. In order to understand, we're gonna uh, first uh, create a variable and pass it into a function and change it. Uh, the first we're gonna try primitive value, a simple number, and then we're gonna try with object and see what happens. So let's do a primitive value. So let, um, let's say a equal to one. So one is a number, a primitive value. And I'm gonna create a function called let uh, change equal to it's an arrow function and inside it takes a some sort of argument called val and inside it would simply do this val equal to two so no matter what you pass to this function it will reassign it a different value which is two now let's pass a into change so i would say change and pass a and then after that let's console log see if it preserves that value or its value change from one to two so if i run this i would get one does this really mean that it is being passed by value uh, because when you pass by value it will make a copy and then if you change inside the outside would not get reflected in javascript it's actually um, always pass by a reference and I'll prove it why that's true a lot of people say it's actually when you pass a primitive value it's passed by by value and when you pass an object it's passed by reference but that's not true and in JavaScript it's always passed by reference so let's look at an object and do the same thing and see what happens so here instead of a I'm going to have uh, an object and it will have num1 okay so this object has a property called num and its value is 1 and here inside I am just going to empty the object and so what happens is when I pass a inside it should um, reassign a value to completely new object which is an empty object okay when I run it it still gives me num equal to one so it hasn't really changed its value does this mean it's still passed by a value no it's actually passed by reference and in order to prove it instead of reassigning value all I have to do is if I do well dot num equal to uh, two so instead of replacing the entire object with an empty object, I am going to mutate it. And there's a difference between mutating and reassigning. And we're gonna look at that in detail, but let's look at what really happens. So before it used to give me num as one, now let's look at what it does. Actually, it gives me num equal to two, which means it is being passed by reference and that is why when I change, when I mutate it, that mutation also is reflected in A. That's why it's two instead of one. So why, when I did this, it did not reflect. So in JavaScript, what happens when you assign a value to a variable, it actually holds the address of where this is stored. So it has a reference to the address, right? Now, when I pass this a into this change function, it's actually passing the reference. But when I use an equal sign, which means I am actually reassigning the value, it actually 
changes the address. And as if like, it's recreating this same variable again. Uh, because the scope is different, it actually creates a, a variable called val inside when I reassign it. And that is the main difference. And that is why the val is now empty object and a, which is completely different object, is num equal to one. Now, when I did this, when it was a primitive value, what really happened is primitive values are, you can mutate primitive value. You only have to, you can only replace it. So when I, when I replace, it's actually passing by a reference, but inside, when I replace it, it creates a new variable. So it is passed by reference, but it just creates a variable inside this new scope, which is this function. All right, to look investigate further, now let's look at this. Let's create a object, which is uh, num as one. And if I do let b equal to a, so now a, b should have reference to a. So if I change into a, it should reflect into b, right? So let's first uh, console log them both, a here, and I can console log, and so if I run it, they're both same. Now, if I do a dot num equal to two, what should happen? When I run it, because a is, b is still linked to a, it's also changing B, as you can see. However, if I reassign it, so if I say A equal to an empty object, now if I run this, I would get different results. So the reassignment is actually sort of, you, you lose at a reference. So in nutshell, when you use equal sign, it's basically change of the variable would change its address, regardless of its, if it's a primitive or object. And when you mutate the object, it will keep its reference because it's the same object. Um, but in, in primitive types, you cannot really mutate it. So that's why you were seeing what you... Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope you like this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a constructive comment. And also, if you can translate this video for me in your native language so your countrymen um, can also enjoy it. Basically, you have to provide a closed captioning. Uh, I'll provide a link to the closed captioning, so the link so you can go there and, and uh, add the translation there. I'll provide a link in the description. And if you don't know how to do it, uh, please ping me and I can help you. I provide English uh, closed captioning to most of my video but I don't have enough time to translate in a lot of other languages and I don't know a lot of languages. So if you can do it, that'll be, that'd be great. Also another thing, uh, one of my friend's kid who is only like six years old, he has made his first, well actually his second YouTube video and uh, he gave me a link to watch it and I just wanna promote it so that uh, he gets a little kudos and he gets motivation to make more how to play chess videos and uh, he's trying his best. The video may, quality may not be the best, but if you can, if you can, please uh, watch for a few minutes. That would make him happy. I'll provide a link here. Thank you.